So what happens when mechanisms that regulate cell division and growth fail? What if cells that are usually normal and well behaved start to act abnormal and ignore instructions to stop growing or dividing? The answer, the cells become cancerous. Cancer is a disease that affects numerous vital organs in our body, often leading to death. In cancer, cells begin to grow rapidly and divide violently. This leads to loss of contact inhibition and anchorage dependence. The mass of cells that form as a result serves no functional purpose to us. In fact, they take up a disproportionate amount of nutrients and they're termed as tumor. Now, tumors can be malignant in that they can start to grow on top of each other and invade other nearby tissues when they run out of space. They can even use the bloodstream to reach distant parts of the body in a multi-step process called metastasis. Now, thankfully, some tumors don't do this and they're in fact inert or inactive and they just simply grow. These are benign tumors. But tumors are in fact a direct result of failed cell cycle control. In some cancers, genetic variations either already present or at birth or acquired through mutations in the DNA lead to a breakdown in cell-to-cell -cell communication and bypassing of cell cycle checkpoints as well as apoptosis checkpoints or apoptosis pathway as a whole. As a result, cancer cells survive and divide perpetually and over time this takes its toll on the body leading to the individual's death at the end. 